TLC, uh, thanks for joining us. Today's uh, day 18 of our Daniel fast, and our prayer focus today is going to be choosing to be a doer of God's word, intentionally putting his word into practice. And it comes from James chapter 1, verses 22 through 26. But don't just listen to God's word, you must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at yourself in a mirror. You see yourself, walk away, and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. If you claim to be religious, but don't control your tongue, you are fooling yourself, and your religion is worthless. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> but when we intentionally choose to plant God's word in our heart and to obey it in every aspect of our lives. It's, it's just amazing how God honors his word. I believe it's in the book of Jeremiah. It says that he watches over his word to see that it is performed. So he is faithful to his promises. Just stand on the word. Believe. All right, let me pray with you guys today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your faithfulness to us, Lord. We, we just pray, Lord, that you would fill our hearts with a greater passion to, to put your word into practice in every aspect of our lives, our words, our thoughts, and our deeds. I want to be a doer, and I know you do too. God bless you all. TLC, we want to thank you for your faithfulness throughout the last 21 days of being able to dedicate and seek God for the miraculous to take place, not only in your life, but here at TLC. We wanna invite you to come out January 30th at nine and 11. We are believing God for a miracle service, signs, wonders, and miracles. When we seek him, we pursue him. God shows up in ways that we can't even imagine. So I want to encourage you to invite a friend. Come expecting. We've been seeking him. We've been devoting our focus to him. And we believe that on January 30th at 9 and 11, God's going to show up and do miraculous things and transform hearts and lives. We look forward to seeing you there.